30 times. Ten times more. Two times more. Letting go and stop. Well, you know, you come with a lot of genes and they're just a library of potentials. They're just a storehouse of information of possibilities. So then you got to get the right <clears throat> signal, the right lock into the key that begins to select and instruct genes that cause genes to make different proteins. And you can regulate so many different genes, the same genes, you can regulate them differently. So when they upregulate, they start producing really healthy and robust proteins. And that's, that's enzymes, that's tissue, that's structure, that's function, that's hormones. It's immune, immunoglobulins. When they downregulate because of some alarm, when there's not a lot of energy for long-term building projects, well, then you keep doing that. Then the body starts producing cheaper proteins. It's a different signal. It's not a time for growth. So, and so now to answer your other question, yes. then it makes sense then that if you have been an experienced, uh, if you had experience of trauma, say for example, and it's created the feeling of fear, and your fear is that it could happen again. And you're, you don't know this, but every time you think about that future, that possible worst case scenario, scenario, and you feel the emotion, you're conditioning your body to become the mind subconsciously of anxiety. So now, all, all you need now is some cue in your outer environment that says it's unsafe, that it's, there's damage there, that you're, you're a victim, something's bigger than you that could have an effect on you. Well, now, that feeling of fear is going to cause you to think thoughts equal to it. So the person then no longer needs the environment to feel that fear. They just have to have the thought about that condition now. And now they're literally knocking their brain and body out of balance by thought alone. And the body's constantly living in emergency mode. And it takes a lot of energy. Thirty times. Ten times more. Two times more. 
Letting go and stop. A lot of resources to live in emergency mode all the time. And guess what system becomes compromised by it? Your immune system. Your immune system. Why? Because you have two protection systems. You got a you got a system that protects you from dangers in your outer world. That's that's the gas pedal. That's the sympathetic nervous system. That's the fight or flight nervous system. Danger, threat out there. Use all the energy because you gotta you gotta survive it. And when you survive, you gotta take care of your body. So right. so so now that system can work really well short term. It doesn't work really well if you keep it on all the time. Because if you're mobilizing all that energy for some threat in your outer world, there's no energy in your inner world for growth and repair. There's no energy for long-term building projects. And energy leaves the brain and it leaves the heart and it moves into these lower centers because now you're tapping the body's resources because there is an emergency. But whether the emergency is real or imagined, whether your anger is valid or justified or not, that the, you're tapping the body's very energy to heal by doing this. And the immune system says, well, we're part of really the other nervous system. We're the brake, we're the clutch. We need, to, we need to get into relaxation. We need to get back into balance again. And, and when we do, then we'll metabolize, then we'll, we'll assimilate, we'll reproduce, we'll, we'll excrete properly. So, so now you got a, this kind of battle between the gas pedal and the brake and the immune system says, hey, listen, if there's foreign agents, if there's viruses, bacteria, molds, funguses, listen, we don't have a whole lot of energy here to deal with them because we're fighting this war out there. There's no homeland security. So they shut down certain receptors in the immune system. They shut down function of those lymphocytes, those white blood cells that are your inner army of protection. Thirty times. Ten times more. Two times more. Letting go and stop. And it takes a lot of energy to fight a virus and a bacteria. But if there's right. no energy, hey, listen, it takes energy to raise the body's temperature. Where do you think that comes from? That's part of that branch called the autonomic nervous system. And the sympathetic, the gas pedal, is part of it. And the parasympathetic is the clutch, is part of that autonomic nervous system. And it's a check and balance. But so you stay in emergency for an extended period of time. And now you're exposed to some antigen or some mm -hmm. uh, external substance some foreign agent and there's no there's no energy uh, to deal with it then you are victim yes. to your environment because every time you react to your environment and you say that person that circumstance is controlling the way I feel and the way I think if something mm. outside of you is controlling your feelings and thoughts then it makes you a victim to your environment so then yes. so you will be more victimized or more, you could be more of a victim to other things in your environment. People don't understand this consciously because it's a program subconsciously.
the past. Well, you're conditioning the brain and body. Into 